Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Grid Road. Now, this is a traffic management type game, and one of the coolest things is, look, the car, look, the car, like, follows your mouse around. If you stop moving, it just does donuts around it. Right, so this is the first level. It's called Simplicity, and the aim of the game is to make a working road network and then get on the high score leaderboards, of which there's only the dev, Andy, and myself. But we have a budget of 53 grand. Everything we place costs money except for signs, and I'll show you exactly how stuff works work. So basically, there's cars up here. You can see they're yellow and blue. They've got to get to the yellow flag over this side and the blue flag down here, respectively. So we need to build a road network to let that happen. So we can just click and drag to get a straight road network in there. And then if we drag down here, we have a connection to that. However, we then need to add signs. Like cars, they will only go straight. They won't actually turn off a road unless there's a sign telling them they can. So what we do is we click, we drag that way, and then we drag down. So we've made a right hand turn. Now note the, the yellow car is like, well, where am I meant to go? Because we've added this sign, they can only turn right. So we now need to add a straight ahead. How do I add a straight ahead? So we end up with something like that, which means both these guys can now get to where they're meant to go. So we can press start. But look, I've forgotten about down here. We've got a red car and a blue car, which both need to get to their respective flags as well. So if we just drag a road sort of like that, now you can see when you make a road, it, it puts the white line down the middle. I quite like like that. Yeah, so let's do what we did before. We'll add turnings like that. So I think that's the top one sorted. However, look down the bottom. We've also got red and yellow car down here. So I think come up there. If we add that in, you'll see the red car can get to their flag. It's just a left turn, but we can't get to the yellow because this is in the way. Cars cannot drive through these. Oh, I've just realized like the, the name of the, the level, Simplicity. It's a T junction, isn't it? And that's why there's a T at the end. Ah, oh, took me a while. Anyway, I've moved this one back and you'll see if we if we click on the yellow, it goes straight ahead. If we click on the blue, it will take the next turn. So these don't actually need to be like right before the junction. Like I could do it back here and like they still work. So they just need to be like before the next turning. It just means you can go straight ahead. You can go right. All good. Yeah. So if we apply that to this one down here, we can say, right, you can go right or you can go left. So that's sort of good. However, I have a feeling uh, we're going to crash into each other in the middle here. Let's press start and see what happens. So the cars are coming. Oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. they're all cutting each other up. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Oh, it's not good. It's not good. So yeah, we get we get a score on the top right based on the traffic flows. And oh no, it's carnage. We're gridlocked. We're grid I imagine there's horns beeping. So yeah, in our final report, we did not complete the level. We did not beat average Andy. <laughs> oh, that's the average score. That's cool. And we did not beat the dev. So we need to retry and try and do better. Now, what we can do, we can add traffic lights. And with these traffic lights, we can turn different phases from green to red. And each one of these represents a second and it sort of goes in a cycle. So for example, because I've got this one, I'm going to have to add traffic lights to all of these. Yeah, and I think it makes sense to move this one back to there just so we're like, we're all close together. Right. So traffic lights on all of these. So these phases, they always start in the top right. So if I make that one red for like two and then it will go green for two, then these ones, I can make them green for two, then red for two. Oh, but no, no, I can't have these on the same phase, can I? Because there's there's blue cars that want to come down here. So on this one, I need to move the green down to there. So basically, it stays red for four and then green for two. So if I do the same on that arm as well, then you can see as, as the time goes around, a third of the time, it will be green. So I just need to do sort of similar things with all of these. So that one, you can see where it's green, different to when that one's green. And then this bottom one, if I make those green, then I think think, yeah, there's always an arm moving. So if we press play now, you can see, look, this one's green. Now it's swapped to that one's green. So they're all moving. Everyone else is stopped. Then that one goes green so they can move wherever. We've made a simple T-junction with traffic lights and it seems to be working. Although there is quite a traffic jam. Oh yeah, that bottom arm is not good. I'm thinking perhaps I should, should I try and change the phases? So it works a bit better. I, I could do every other rather than doing like two slots of green. Yeah, I'll tell you what though. I'll tell you what though. Have a look at that score. I completed the level. I beat average Andy and I beat the dev. It's like I did this for a job or something. Because yeah, I am actually intrigued to know. Was this like good 
engineering instinct or did I just get lucky? In terms of doing like the keeping it on for two, because my theory was it takes time for cars to like accelerate and then break. So I could potentially, I mean, there's two different ways. Well, there's three different ways I could do this. So rather than this, if we start on this one, it would be easier. So if I go green, two red, green, two red, green, two red, green, two red. And then basically I'm just moving the greens like to the right one. So we end up with this on that one. So if you compare to that, like the greens are like opposite each other at one o'clock. This one, they're opposite each other at two o'clock and this one at three o'clock. So this will do the same thing, but the green light lasts half as long. And I have a feeling the acceleration and braking of these cars should mean this does worse. You can see bottom right, that's our score to be 4,800. Is this going to be better or worse? Oh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be, it could even be the same. Was it going to be better? It's going to be better. It's better. Oh no, it's better. 5,000. Okay, well, before we go on to the next level, let's just have a look. There is one other way of doing this and that's doing like making four of them green and then red. So super long phases. We got four reds, then four greens on this one and then this one they're all red and then four greens so this is our sort of final layout you can see when when we're green when we're red so as we start the bottom stays green for ages and then it swaps so the right one that will stay green for ages as well look at the cues building up on the other arms though the game is complaining at me like that bottom arm that queue is huge yeah the level fails the level fails anyway we can move on to the next level now we've learned that we've got priorities so what do we actually have we've got a road coming in from the left. Uh, oh, it's, it's a one-way road. It just goes right. Okay, so we could do straight through like that. So they're both sorted. You can see that is the route they're both going to take straight ahead. They don't go anywhere else. But then we got 38 grand remaining to get these guys down the bottom across the road. So if we just go straight up, then I think what we're going to have to do do is put some traffic lights in right so if we click on all of those we have traffic lights and generally in real life you'd you'd sort of work out your traffic light phase and depending on not only like how much traffic there is at certain times of day and stuff but uh, also you do actually measure like where the queue goes to because if this queue starts backing up somewhere else uh, you're causing a lot of issues so generally although traffic lights are mostly sort of timed uh, there are like sensors on the road if you actually look on a pavement like on the actual road you will see like sometimes there's like triangles or like trapeziums or squares like sort of cut in like you might see like a little black outline of tar they're actual sensors on the road that will sense a car so generally you'll see one like at a traffic light like right at the stop end and then you'll see another one like a bit further back as well and basically what that does the first one will sort of like set off the timer but uh, if the back one gets like a car waiting on it as well then it will sort of trigger the light to change so <laughs> so sometimes don't don't do this because you will just ruin traffic lights forever but i'm allowed to because i'm an engineer i know how they work so what i do if i see like if i'm like coming up this road and i see like there's a queue of traffic there and then like i see like the little thing like in the ground but there's like there's not cars in between uh, i will stop my car like back here on the sensor so that the traffic light goes green so I don't have to wait for traffic lights anyway traffic officer if you're watching this i'm just it's just a funny story it's not real it's just it's just a good a good joke. Good entertainment. Anyway, let's crack on with the game. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> so I think what we want to do is we probably want to keep these guys stopped for a decent amount. I might try like quarters. So if we do that sort of pattern for these two guys and then this bottom one will do the opposite. Then I think that should be good. We've then just got to do the same for this side. So we better add all of our arrows in and then add the traffic lights. Now we've got 22 grand remaining by the way. You don't get any any bonus in this game for like being under budget. It's all about traffic flows. Uh, but what we might want to do here since we're green there maybe we want to make this next one red there. So we do that pattern for these because then when this is green these guys can drive up to that point and then they'll stop here. I'm just a bit worried about like how traffic will back up because we don't want them to back up into this bit. Sort of like what I was saying before. Now in this game there isn't sensors because that would just make stuff too easy. Uh, so we're going to have to sort of trial and error this. We'll see how this works but I'm pretty sure we can just change the phasing. Right so the left one you can see those guys are going ahead. Traffic is backing up. Oh it's backing up quite a lot right Right, now these have stopped. They've gone through. Oh, no. They're queued there. No. So then they can't get through. Yeah, okay. 
I need to uh, I need to sort this a bit because that left hand side that is not queuing up very well. I tell you what, actually, there might be a time where like if I let these through, I can make this one change slightly later so that the cars go all the way through. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's just see what score we get at the end of this though. I don't think we're going to fail. We've beaten average Andy in your face, but we haven't beaten the dev. Uh, but I do have an idea of how to do this. So let's say for this one, we keep what we had there. It's probably, it probably does actually need tweaking. I might actually tweak it to, to just being open for two. So two, two, two like that. So basically both these side ones, they're open, shut, open, shut, open, shut, which means this side road, it's got to do the opposite to allow no crashes to happen here. But what I'm thinking from this point, if I take this and rotate it like clockwise once maybe that will give time for this traffic to like get to this light so this stays red until the traffic gets close so look this left one the greens are like that this right one the greens are like slightly shifted to the right so we'll see how that works we've just got to change this side arm to do the opposite of these ones so it looks like that lovely okay let's press play and then we'll see exactly how this runs so notice on the left it goes green. They're driving across towards that. And then it turns green. Yes, that's quite nice. Ooh, this is working quite well. Look, as they drive to that one, it changes to green for them. Oh, I think I may have cracked this one. I'm liking this. I am liking this. And look, no cars are being like stuck at the lights or anything. But, oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> that purple car just got sideswiped. I think that was his own fault though. No, that oh, there's not enough time. Yeah, there's not actually enough time for like the purples to get across before these go. Okay, I may need to do a bit of tweaking. We have though beaten the dev score. So yeah, you might be a developer, but I'm not sure your traffic engine. <laughs> Sorry, I sound like an absolute ego architect with that. Um, let me just see if I can make this better. So 17,800. So basically when these bottom guys, when like the last guy went through, so this turns to red, there's a car there as they turn to green. So perhaps these ones, we want the green to start later. So if I do that sort of thing, then this will be green for less time, which means less cars will get through. It should stop the flow of those. I don't know if this is going to be better or not, actually. We may just have to accept that there's going to be some crashes at these junctions. <laughs> Yeah, so look, you can see these guys, they're queuing for quite a long time. And then it goes green later, so there's no crash. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure about this, actually. Yeah, we're not letting enough traffic. Through. I look on the right, there's like hardly any queues. On the left, <laughs> there's just constant crashes. So yeah, with this one, we didn't beat the dev, but we did beat average Andy. And we beat my first score as well, I think. Um, but yeah, overall, that was quite a bad idea. So let's add those greens back in. And then perhaps then, do I want to change this one to be offset from that one? So there's time for these purples to get past. We basically want these to start later. So if we just move all the greens right one, we will try this. I'm not sure the phasing will work well enough. Because I have a feeling, yeah, they're just going to sort of... Oh! sort of collide into each other. Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to be better than my original, to be honest. All right, so we beat average Andy. We didn't technically beat the dev. We got identical scores. So maybe this is what the dev did. Um, I feel like it's sort of overthinking, though. I should have just stuck with my natural instinct. Natural engineering instinct is powerful. But yeah, 17,800. I think that's a good score. Let's go on to the next level. A square about. So yeah, this one, we're being encouraged to build a roundabout. But obviously, because we're on a grid. It's going to be a square about. Oh, by the way, you guys may have noticed uh, we're always on the left lane. And that's because we're driving correctly, uh, which is the British way. Unlike 90% of the rest of the world that drive on the right hand side. Yeah, I have been told that they are going to add the feature so that you can do it either way. But uh, for now, you've just got to cope with left hand side driving if you want to get this game yourself. Uh, it's on itch.io, by the way. Uh, I'll rank the link in my description. Uh, it's only like $3, so well worth a cheeky little play this. Uh, and I will say the dev did give me a key for free. So thanks for that. Appreciate it. But anyway, how are we going to make a square about? So <laughs> I think if I just focus on like all the all the incoming roads first. So we end up with this. If I then do like the outgoing road, I think basically we're going to end up with like that sort of thing, aren't we? That is a square about if ever I've seen a square about. And so what we want to do is say there, go straight ahead because this is a square about. It's not just a road. So you want to go straight ahead there. And then at this point, you can either go right 
or you can go left depending on if you're coming off or if you're staying on. Now, if you're staying on, you're going to be here, aren't you? So at this point, we do the same. We say right or we say left. And then at this point, we do the same thing, right, left, and then same down here as well. So that covers the inner lane of the square about. We just got to make sure we've got the on arrows for everyone like that. So that's sorted. Then we need the... Oh, wait, no, roundabouts are one way. I don't need those outer roads. Yeah, I've just realized I can get rid of, like, all of that. That is... That's how a roundabout works. Okay, so shall we try this uh, without traffic lights? It's going to be carnage, but uh, let's just see what happens. <laughs> this is, like, basically American trying to drive around a roundabout simulator. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Welcome to America. Yeah, so I scored a total of 100 there, and that is the end of that level. So we ideally need to add traffic lights. I'm also thinking, though, since I do have 16 grand budget and traffic lights, they only cost a grand, so I'm not going to need 16 of them. I'm thinking it's probably worth putting these roads back in because I can say, like, go that way as well if you want. And then the yellow car on this one will go down that way and then they won't come around the circular tree that's just like a little a little shortcut i think that's probably worth doing so i'll do the same down here add that arm do the same there add that arm and the same there adding that arm so when we start this you should see the colors like coming like down each arm going straight so like yeah the red ones down here look can you see they went straight across so that's made the circular tree a lot less cramped but it is <laughs> I mean, it's it ha it has stuck. So we're still gonna need traffic lights on this, um, and that's because like you, there's no like priority. We can't put like give way markings in like how a roundabout actually works. Uh, so we're making a signalized roundabout, which technically isn't really a roundabout, but that just makes it easier in my opinion. That didn't that didn't work out clearly. Will that give us time? I don't know. Maybe that's where it went wrong last time. I don't know. We'll try this. Oh man, it's getting clogged up. It's clogged up already. I'm not sure if this is gonna work either. <laughs> Oh, no. My confidence in my traffic engineering ability has plummeted. Not going to lie. So, oh, are we okay? No, we're not okay. <laughs> you can see these other arms, though, getting a bit angry. Yeah, we do fail. Much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Right, so I think I've got the thing down. So we do want this shape. Rather than as we as we work our way around going to the right, can you see the green like on this one start, starts at one o'clock, then it goes to two o'clock. I don't want that. I want it to go backwards, I think. Or in fact, to make it easier to work out, we start on this one and then rather than going to the next one over there, we do the one before it. So that goes to two o'clock. And then this one goes to three three o'clock. So we have that. And then this one goes to four. Okay. So I think this could work better. 1,750 to beat. I mean, ideally 2,700 to beat. But yeah, by going with the lights this direction, it gives the others time to drive around the circular tree. <laughs> Although it has just clogged up. Oh, bottom left was kicking off there. Oh, top right is kicking off. To be fair, every time an arm kicks off, it is their turn to go. All right, what are we on? Run a thousand. I can't see us getting anywhere near the dev score on this. All right, we're coming to an end. We are at 2,000 exactly. We didn't beat average Andy. We did not beat the dev. And wow, I do not think I'm ready to move on to merger or giga. <laughs> <laughs> what I think I might have to do. We might have to come back to this. And sorry, I'm actually having a great time like driving this around. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to come back to this and then try and figure out how to finally beat the square about. And then we'll move on to Merger and Giga. Let's hope other traffic management video games don't try and sue this company either. Anyway, on that note, peace, love and traffic. Bye guys.